He's ever made that an effort before. Well, they, now, in fairness, it, it was done in previous years, but it wasn't done for about the last 10 or 11 years. Uh, and certainly not to this scale, but larger than that, it seems to be we're opening up a dialogue with Kim Jong-un. That certainly has never happened to sit down. Does that impress you? Absolutely. Absolutely right. impressed with that. All right, Benny, let me ask you. You, the president, went down your street. What did you think of him yesterday, and how do you think he's doing? he's doing great we need a businessman in the office he knows how to run things <laughs> what, what matters most to you what do you want the president to focus on now what should be the priority well making sure everybody gets a job that wants one mm -hmm. and keeping us safe and build that wall <laughs> Build that wall. You put him there at the last second. Does that mean you want him to really? He's pushing hard. He's threatening. He might even shut the government down. Do you want him to do whatever it takes? I don't think he'll shut the government down. That's not how you run a business. <laughs> but yeah. I think he'll do what we want him to do. And he's got a big fight on his hand from the other side. But you know. And you mentioned business. Lou is with us. Lou, you started uh, in the mid-90s a braille company here. How has this administration affected your business? Well, we started in 1994, Braille Works International, and if we ran Braille Works like the government typically runs, we'd have been out of business by 1996. So we've gone from my wife and me, Joyce and me, running the company in 94 to 160 employees. 160? Uh, yes, in uh, 2018. So 24 years in, that's who we are. And President Trump has been good for your business? Uh, it's just good to see somebody run the country like we run a business. See, yes, he has been with the tax cuts and other other things that he's doing for businesses. Yes, most definitely. It's a big, big asset. All right, guys, so that's what's happening down here in Sefer. It was the president's first visit since becoming president. And this community here, many of them small businessmen, feel that this economy is doing well. And many of them, like Benny, want that wall built. Meanwhile, I got to, oh, I'm sorry, one more second. Sanctity of life. I'm very happy that he's against abortion. Sanctity of life, a big thing here. Meanwhile, I got to get back to the newly uh, named Griff Jenkins Waffles and Sprinkles. Thank oh, you guys. Goodness, that looks delicious. Nice.